no, 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 no way. Disney, you cannot do this to me. Not now. You cannot do this to us. I don't believe it. Or oh, does my eye deceive me? Does my eyes deceive me? I'm pretty sure many of you are wondering what I am looking at because this is impossible to believe that Disney, the symbol of morality, the beacon of virtuousness, is actually reneging on one of their most virtuous acts. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about here. Daru Hannah's naked butt makes splash, no longer censored on Disney Plus. Now, I'm pretty sure many of you know about this, know that Daru Hannah's butt from the movie Splash in 1984 was censored. However, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, Disney has uncensored it. So let's find out exactly how people are feeling about this, why they did what they're doing. I got my few theories that I'm going to share with you guys as the reason why I think Disney's doing what they're doing pretty much, uh, reneging on their virtuousness as it were at this point and um yeah please feel free to share your thoughts in that comment section below without further ado let's just dive straight into this story now shall we Daryl Hannah's back is back. Comic Book Resources is reporting that Disney Plus uh, has restored Daryl Hannah's nude derriere in the 1984 rom-com Splash. After the streamer used CGI to cover her butt, partially exposed backside with fake hair. Absolutely ridiculousness. Let me even just show you guys. Let's just go straight into this clip right here where, um, you know, you can compare and contrast and you guys, be the judge. Did this particular scene actually need any sort of, you know, CGI effect or not? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's check this out. Someone please tell me if that scene right there actually needed any form of, you know, um, CGI-ness. But in their bid to show that they are the most virtuous uh, corporation that there is, that they are in this because they want to make things right in this modern world, not because they want to make money. Now they are starting to renege on what they were doing before. So the original version has been reinstated as part of a 4K upgrade of Splash, but now it's behind the Disney Plus parental lock feature according to the outlet. Why? Why are they putting in an parental lock feature? Is this the worst thing in the movie? Have you seen that movie? There are a lot of dirty parts in that movie that kids should not be seen in the first instance but still you know it's right there and this is their own way of virtual signaling plus they have other stuff they've been pushing that nobody wants to see nobody wants their kids to see but they're leaving it out there i mean it's insane the way these people reason but that's still there on disney plus talking about stuff that they shouldn't be talking about sexualizing children you know pushing you know alphabet community um you know way of life belief system on children a lot of people are rejecting it and you know it is starting to affect them little by little and so now some fans uh of the movie had a few things to say here are a few things that some of them said uh one person says the world is finally healing i wouldn't speak too soon uh this other person says um now i can rest i think he's kind of quoting a Thanos who said, I finally rest looking upon a grateful world or something of that nature uh, in Infinity War. This other person says, it's just nice to win one. It is just nice to win one against Disney. Here's why I am laughing. Now, what's my theory as to reason why Disney is doing this? Well, the as the time goes and as the saying goes, you get woke, you go woke, broke Disney. Disney has been claiming that they are trying to like, you know, change the modern world. They're doing this for the LGBTQ community. Everybody else is a dinosaur. Anybody that doesn't receive this, you are an Easter or an Instaphobe or whatnot. You are against women. If you don't accept some of the um, woke feminist indoctrination that they are pushing here and there, you know, they're just pushing a whole lot of woke stuff. But what is this leading to? And they're even trying to fight government who's trying to stop the indoctrination of children particularly in florida going against the floridian government you know when they wanted to pass a bill in parental rights in education that overwhelmingly the senate in florida voted for Bob Shapek, the CEO of Disney, came out and said he's going to fight against them because he was just answering to a vocal minority on Twitter. And what did they get? A 43% drop in Disney stocks, right? Losing $50 billion earlier this year. And just the last quarter, they've lost $1.4 billion on Disney+. Plus. 
This is the reason why I feel they are doing this. To top that off, they're also going to be laying off a lot of staff to cut costs. Disney's preparing to cut jobs, according to leaked memo from CEO. Disney CEO Bob Chapek is uh, predicting some staff's reduction once the company reviews its spending. According to a leaked memo uh, published by CNBC, the company will also reportedly freeze most hiring. So they're not hiring new people, only bringing on new employees for the most critical business drive in positions so you can see that disney is in turmoil. they are in serious serious trouble and maybe maybe they are starting to learn from what netflix has gone through as netflix is also trying to move towards the same direction so these people might be right but i wouldn't speak too soon because after watching black panther it seems like they are still headed in the course for pushing woke ideologies and look i feel for the staff that are going to be losing their jobs but i don't feel for disney whatsoever for what they are doing because what they are doing to me is kind of like evil and then they are trying to act like as if they're virtuous meanwhile in reality they only care about money for those people who think that disney is truly virtuous disney's cutting off part of the lgbtq scene from uh black panther movie towards the end some of you who have seen the movie would have seen that part they're cutting it for kuwait and because of that you can tell that they are all about the money they're really not all about the belief system that they claim that they believe in. They are really not doing it because if they were, they wouldn't care about pushing this in Kuwait, but they need the money, so they're doing that. In China, remember what they did to Black Panther, what they did to the late great Chadwick Boseman in part one. They literally covered his face up for the Chinese poster because they wanted to make money over there. So much for their virtual signaling, fighting for black people and black voices. So much for that, right? So Disney... We all know where they stand. We all know what they're trying to do. However, what they're trying to do is costing them a lot. And so this is resulting to them maybe reneging on those people that they were trying to please in the first instance. Once again, let this be a lesson to you. You get woke, you go broke. Guys, so let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. The reason why I talked about this is because Disney has their hand deep in politics and in our culture world, trying to influence kids all across the world in any parts of the world that they are actually allowed to influence children. And this is something that we need to talk about a whole lot more. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe, ding that bell for notification, and I'll catch you guys later. Take care, peace, and size out of here. Bye-bye.